Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Today we're gonna try this fly. Um, it's still a bit cold for for proper fishing in Denmark right now, but in a couple of months something is gonna happen on the surface. So we're getting ready. Enough talking, let's get on with tying. Secure this red tying thread. You can use any kind of thread for this. It really doesn't matter. It won't be visible anywhere. Then I'll make a little bump of dubbing here. Using eye stub. Then I take four haggles from a handbag soft patch. Prepare two for each side. I want to tie them in so they are splayed up out like the legs on a frog or something like that. for the little dubbing bump is to help secure the legs in that outward curving position. Now we got something that resembles uh, the classic tarpon fly. And I'm checking out how much room I need for the foam head. I prepare an extra haggle. Just like the ones I used for the legs, these grizzly bared soft haggles. And wrap this around the hook shank, slanting backward like you would on a wet fly. Then I'd use a slatten feather. Which has these really long and soft fibers. And then I'll take a black slap and feather. The same procedure. Tying in so we got the shiny side of the feather forwards, wet fly style.
Then I add some flesh fibers. again. Everything seems to be just fine. I use these uh, pre-made double barrel heads. I've used anything from flip-flop sandals to corks and other stuff I made these heads from. These are super easy to use. But any other material or foam heads will do just fine. When attaching these, you can decide if you want the pointy end forward for a slider type fly, or you want this cupped end forward to get a popper action fly. On this, I choose the popper option. I go in with some super glue here. You're actually gonna be fast doing this because the glue just uh, grabs the foam immediately. Then I add a pair of 3D eyes, put in some super glue in that cavity. to go popping. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.